Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez says he does not expect the current oil crisis to last long. He admits, however, that the Philippine economy will likely be collateral damage in the ongoing war in Ukraine. One News' business editor, Regina Lay, with the details. Amid growing calls to suspend fuel excise taxes, Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III is taking a measured approach. He told President Duterte at Monday night's cabinet briefing that he doesn't think the oil price issue brought about by the war in Ukraine will last long. We do not expect this crisis to last very long. However, there may, may be some lingering, lingering effects. The Philippine economy will likely be collateral damage. It is as if we are hit by a ricocheting bullet. And that's significant because President Duterte largely leaves economic decisions to him. He assured the president that the government will be able to keep inflation to within 2 to 4 percent this year. Dominguez also told the cabinet that the Philippines is well equipped to weather this crisis given past experience. We have, had, we have seen similar crises in the past, such as the Gulf War in 1990, uh, the Asian financial crisis in 1997, the oil price shock of uh, 2008, and also the first Russia-Ukraine conflict in 2014. And we have weathered all of this crisis very well. Back in October, the Finance Department already shot down the idea of suspending excise taxes. At that time, the Philippines was already suffering several weeks of oil price hikes, but the Russian invasion hadn't happened yet. The DOF argued that we will lose more than 131 billion pesos in revenues if they suspend excise taxes. And that's money that was being used for health care and COVID-19 recovery measures. Because of the extra expenses from the pandemic, the Philippines recorded the largest ever budget deficit last year. And the bigger the deficit, the more the government has to borrow in order to fund programs. Regina Lay, We Are One News.